interesting. Okay. Okay. I'm really trying to... Oh my goodness. I'm trying to... Uh, survive this. It's getting very tricky. Because the bosses are starting to come now. And that's a new one too. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lodi's here back with another zombie survive yet another zombie survivors episode. As you guys can see, we have something on our screen. Update 0 0.6.0 Alpha. Which I was not prepared for. So they this came out on April 10th. This is now April 12th, 13th, I think. 12th. April 12th that I'm recording this. Um it's basically the day before you guys it comes out. But yeah, enter the green hell, a dark forest filled with death, battle new enemies, and face elite variations of the old ones. Check out the new wave-based extermination game mode, search the Zompedia for valuable information, and customize your item pool and more. The game should also run much better now thanks to a major performance update. And I click this, <clears throat> this is going to blow your guys' mind. Boom, green hell, bam, scroll down, green hell update, yep, performance uh, update. Pretty decent one, it looks like. <clears throat> not too bad, not too bad. Green Hell map looks pretty interesting. Extermination mode as well, looks like it's pretty pretty cool. We thought long and hard about how to improve boss rush, so it's not another endless mode. And we've decided to put it on the back burner for now and much and offer a much more interesting game mode. Um, <clears throat> completely different from the existing modes. It's a wave-based mode. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> cool. New enemies, uh, which is pretty cool i guess uh this thing i thought was pretty pretty interesting the item pool customization once you've unlocked a total of 50 items which we have you'll also unlock the item pool customization option in the game's menu where you can like there's no limit to the number of items you can have enabled but the game requires that you have at least 40 items in the pool so you can literally pick what items you want in a run <clears throat> uh zompedia um, allows you to track the showcase the progression of your in-game profile as well as learn more various elements of the game. In-game wiki. Ooh, that'll be interesting to check out. <clears throat> so yeah, new gameplay changes and additions. Major optimization improvements. New map green hell. Three new enemy types, including a very, very bad dog. Feet melting puddles of deadly ooze to watch out for. Awesome new music tracks. Sweet. Um, extermination, wave base, timer gets paused between each wave. It's just like survivors. Okay, interesting. Yep, elites, uh, zombiepedia, and then it looks like, uh, 13 new achievements. Awesome. Oh, no. A small memorial was added in honor of Sanji, who passed away. If you guys don't know who Sanji is, it, I believe it was his rabbit. Um, quality of life. All pause menu stats can now be selected with gamepad and keyboard. Unlock weapons and ability descriptions. Okay, cool. <clears throat> if you guys want to pause this and look over it, you guys can. Balance changes. Um, not a lot of this matters too much to us, I guess. Mainly because we've already unlocked everything <clears throat> in here. Um, item pool. This is pretty sweet. So we can select what we want. So, like... Oh, this is actually pretty cool. So you can lock out stuff that you don't want <clears throat> if you're trying to go for a certain run. Zombiepedia. So we've played a total of 14, almost 15 hours. 316,000 enemies defeated. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't have any victories in here yet. Cool. Oh, it has leader victories. Interesting. Enemies. So it does have all the different enemies. Oh, there's three that we haven't ex found yet. It's probably on the new map. You can go through here. This is pretty cool. Different abilities here. We haven't unlocked pyros. Power ups. Interesting. Different items. Looks like there's four new items we can unlock. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's actually pretty cool. 
It's pretty cool. All right, well, I guess I wasn't planning on doing this, but we might as well check out uh, the new map, right? Oh, and we have to survive 20 minutes. Ooh. You know what? I wasn't planning on doing that, but hey, let's let's jump in and do it. Let's jump in and do it. Let's try it out. I wasn't planning on doing a default run <clears throat> with um, Pyro today. I was just planning on uh, doing the one-hit mode, trying to get something out. Or trying to basically see what we can do here, but hey, it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, this is a, a lot harder than... I thought, because we're not killing anybody. Okay. Um, yep, I'm going to take you. Okay. Grab you. I think this spins pretty good once we... Get it fully leveled, but right now we're definitely struggling just a little bit. This map on one hit mode is gonna be I think it's gonna be tough. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. I could go blowtorch. I'm trying to think if I want to go flamethrower afterwards or if I want to go into something else. Oh, that's a new one. Whoa, that's a new one. <clears throat> Haven't seen that guy before. This guy. Whoa, he's a new one. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I think I have to take Molotov. I was going to try out the new game mode, but, uh, like, the Exterminate one? Maybe we'll try that one uh, in another episode coming up here soon. Now that we've experienced the Green Hell map. Which is actually pretty interesting. I mean, it has, like, the, um... The pools of, like, toxic... Uh, whatever you'd want to call it. <clears throat> God damn it. All right. Here we go. Get some water. Hopefully I don't have to clear my throat so much. But we're going to try and get a win. I don't know if I want to take a character yet. Actually, I'm going to take Huntress right out the gate. Because I know I said in the last episode I was going to uh, run Huntress as the leader this run. To try and get uh, the cold damage. Um, to reach that million. But, then this update came out that I didn't know was coming out. So, here we are. Running Pyro as the leader. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. Um, the reason why it's not the end of the world is because we do need to try and get, um, 20,000 kills. Or, not 20,000, 18,000 more kills to unlock tier 3 of Pyro. And, I think this run will definitely be able to do it. Because this run is, um, oh, this, that's an, is that an elite guy? Um, I don't know if I want to go flamethrower. You know what, let's try it out. Okay. Definitely taking a lot more damage than I would like. The, f the flamethrower damage doesn't look too bad. Whoa, and they have a... Interesting, like, AoE effect. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay. You know, probably level up a couple times here, or we're just going to level up once. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, no pain, no gain, baby. Okay, we, we wipe that guy out. We're going to push over this way and try and get this uh, this one. What we got here? Every charge of lockdown, reroll, banish, and now have a chance to not be consumed. This chance amounts to 15%. Oh, interesting. But 
Uh, I want weapon damage, though. I mean, I don't really need the money, so I'm going to skip on that. Because we already have all of our skills maxed out. I'm going to skip over the money portion. We don't really need money. Don't really need money. Oh, this one's going to be hell to play with, um... To play with, um... Oh, I could have went Medic to go Ice Medic 2. But I was trying to say, though, this one's going to be hell on one-hit mode. Boss Rush, I can see it being okay. But, shoot, man. One-hit mode is going to be tough. Because it's, like, it's, it's kind of dark enough to where, like, you can't quite see... Like, you can see the zombies, but not... Not quite. But also, like... Because, like, if you're running around, you can easily run up on a pack of zombies pretty pretty quickly. Um, but... I think... I, I don't know. I think it'll be... It's, it's definitely different. It might be a little bit of a challenge, but I feel like we might be able to make something happen here. Um, let's do weapon critical ch crit, uh, crit chance. I'm going to try and up the crap out of the weapon damage for our ice, uh, our ice girl. Multi-shot. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of these uh, new elite monsters with the, uh, with like the echoing, uh, blast. Okay. We definitely need to get more XP. Here we go. Ability crit damage. Yeah, but I guess I'll take you. Oh, but it lowers weapon. Crap, I didn't see that one. Dang it. Gee, dang it. All right, run over here. Grab the you. Let's up the taser. Up taser damage a bit. Give me something happening. Something going on here. Okay, uh, let's grab flamethrower. Flamethrower 2. Oh my goodness. Okay. Not bad. Slowly making our way around here. There we go. I definitely need this. A lot going on around here. Oh yeah, that's... Oh, that's so much nicer. Being able to, like, wipe out all these, like, weak... These weak zombies. With, uh, the energy shield. So nice. So nice. Alright. Get the flamethrower going. Run over here. Try and collect as much of this XP as we possibly can. Like, yes, I'm trying to level up the, um, Huntress. But I'm also just trying to survive. Because we're already at, like, half HP. So we're definitely not doing as well as I would like to be doing. That's okay. <clears throat> let's see. Yep, let's take you. I don't know exactly what I want to, like, not take yet. So I'm going to hold off on the uh, customized item pool. Just because I'm not 100% I'm not sure on what I don't want to take yet, you know. Um, we may have to do a couple more runs. To figure out because like the past couple of videos i've recorded have been um like there has been a lot of changes since i first did my my first like um massive bunch of uh oh my god dude zombie survivor episodes um back in november like not a lot has changed but like some of the uh, actual um abilities have changed so i don't want to uh go with it yet if i don't know exactly what um like, I think I know what just about all of them do now, but I still don't want to risk that chance of uh, doing that. I mean, I could just read them and figure it out, but still. That new... Yeah, this new werewolf guy is very interesting. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm really trying to... Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I'm trying to uh, survive this. It's getting very tricky. Because the bosses are starting to come now. And that's a new one too. This new one with the antlers. 
Not quite sure what he does. Uh, I want this one. I could go electric. I mean, I, I think I'm going to go electric damage anyways. I think I am going to end up going electric damage anyways. But I need to remember that we need cold damage. I don't think there's a there's an item that does cold damage yet. Okay, so we do have the dashing guys on this map as well. Okay, interesting. Interesting choice. Okay. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot right now. But then again, knowing this game, it can change very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Uh, I'll grab you since you're the last one. I still want to go like ability uh, cooldown for uh, our energy shield here. Because you guys know I love my energy shield. And if you guys haven't played this game, energy shield is so good. So good. And if you guys are new to the game, go all the way back to the beginning uh, of the playlist. Um, it'll definitely... Um, It'll definitely uh, catch you guys up, and you guys will see some crazy builds and stuff. Okay. Youch, that hurt a good bit. I mean, we got another 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to get swarmed pretty pretty heavily now, which isn't which isn't too good. Cause like even though yeah, it's default mode, and we're used to like bosses and all that stuff, but it's still like. Still, like, I don't know. I still would rather, uh... You can still, there's always a chance that you can still lose. Trying not to, though. Really trying not to. Alright. Okay. It's funny because, like, literally, like, three episodes ago, I just did the Pyro update. That came out, like, I don't know, probably two months ago. I just never got around to it. And now here's, here's another update video. No new characters, though, I saw. I was hoping there would be another new character, but there, there wasn't a new character. I mean, we got a new map, which is cool. New map is massive, because we didn't get a new map with the last update. The last update, we just got Pyro in the achievements and stuff. But this one's huge because um, we got a new update, new achievements. Oh, we didn't even look at the new achievements. You know what? Um, let's look at the new achievements. Lead a full squad of survivors. Okay, that should be pretty easy. Lead a full squad of survivors. Oh, wait. We're looking at it. Survive five minutes of the one-hit mode in the Vile Wastelands. Okay, well, we haven't done that one yet. Um, survive until dawn in the Green Hell. We're working on it. Ooh. Which unlocks Endless Mode. Uh, survive ten minutes on Endless Mode in Green Hell. Okay. Twenty minutes on Endless Mode in Green Hell. All right. Thirty minutes. Okay. Survive a hardcore mode in the Green Hell. Okay. Annihilate all enemies in the Extermination Mode in the Green Hell. Survive one hit in the Green Hell. Okay, so it just added, what, um, three, six, seven, seven there. Extermination mode, run with just the team leader, okay. Survive for 30 minutes in endless mode with just the team leader. Okay. Walk five kilometers, stay inside a puddle for at least 7.8 seconds. Finish the wave of extermination game mode with from a microsecond to up to 20 seconds. Okay. Recruit your first survivor after completing at least 10 waves. Okay. So we need to stand into a, in a puddle for 7 seconds. Ooh, that definitely starts hurting, man. 
We didn't get it though because I don't know how long we stood in it, but we need to get full health before we do that. Let's try and get full health before we do that. That was a little scary. Um, every charge, okay, special, at least damage modifier. This is what I need, but it lowers fire damage. That's okay. I need ice damage. Ice damage, I need a million of. Okay. Need a million for ice damage. I might be too late to stand in a puddle, unfortunately. It might be too late, but I'm going to try it here in a sec. Okay, let's go to the Tesla. We're going to stand in this puddle. Two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, we can't because we got freaking these bosses dashing at us. Yeah, we probably should have done it at the beginning of the freaking run. Rather than waiting. Oh, man. I mean, I'm still going to try and get it this episode. Or this run, but we'll see. We got nine minutes to go. Nine minutes to go. Uh, let's go this one. Okay. Too bad it's not like a cumulative. Like too bad it has to be like in one go. Like, that would be cool if it was just like, hey, stand in it uh, for like a second here, a second there, a second here, a second there. That'd be easy. But nope. Problem is, I don't know if we have enough HP to do it, is the problem. Is the problem. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're dead. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's cool. Alright, I wasn't even really paying attention to my health. I thought I had way more than I, uh, we did. But, uh, yeah. That, um... That was, uh, I guess the intro to Green Hell. I mean, we'll get it in the next episode. I'm not too worried about it. Um, in this one. Um... But, uh, yeah, we will... We're getting close on Pyro. I may... Uh, I may end up running um, the Huntress just to get that million cold damage. Then... Also Medic. And then Engineer, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If so, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. This has been the update for yet another Zombie Survivors. We're going to try and uh, get all the achievements per usual. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.